Hello everyone, welcome back once again into my Apache Cassandra installation session for multi-node single data set data center collections. So this is second part of the installation. In this video, we will see how to install CentOS 7 and what changes we need for the next process. So here I'll show you the step by step the, the things. So let's start. I told you that these are the few steps we have to do uh, on each and every server. Right now, I will go to start on one server and we have to repeat this entire process for the rest servers. So let's start with me. So this is my uh, Oracle Virtual Box Man. Just click start. Selecting in, uh, install CentOS 7. Press enter. Press select now. So just be like that if you if you if you are from not going to change anything here okay the maximum number of changes we have to do here only okay so just click and here i'm just going to select my region so i'm just right now i'm in shanghai so i'm just clicking my particular area done come to the installation source here it is already showing it is verified so that's good click done to the software selection we have to select server with ui click done that's fine now click onto the installation device as you can able to see here that uh, during the creation of the of uh, this virtual machine we selected 50 gb so the address is showing here we have to set go with our, uh, automatic configuration partition click done after that we have to go the network and host name here you are able to see the two ENPO uh, S3 and, and ENP0 asset so we have to go to configure these two things before that we have to change our name okay so server one dot local domain for that configuration okay so start from the first in general we have to set automatically connect to the uh, network when it is available no need to change anything into this thing just go directly to uh, as we before here just click manual okay now add your uh, IP address which is fine now go to click uh, IPv6 and just ignore it okay that's fine so click save now just go to ENPUS 8 and clear here just go with same in general here in IPv4 we have to select automatic DSCP and in IPv6 as usual we have to select ignore. Click save and it will automatically and the same for each and every condition. Collision. In the root password, I'm going to select uh, uh, for that. In the uh, Okay, in the root password again, I'm going to change here. Uh, equal and above. So finally, you will get the complete message that CentOS is now successfully installed and ready for you to use it. So go ahead and reboot to start using it. So I'm going to reboot it. So just click on reboot. So during the reboot, it will uh, ask in some uh, certain time it will ask the license information. So I'm giving you, you the shortcut trick. Uh, either you have to read the, all the commands like what is uh, uh, telling you that please make sure choice 1 and 2 and all the things. So just first press enter 1, enter. After that press 2, enter. And press C for continue. Okay, again C for continue. Press enter. And it will again uh, restart your system. Relation. You have to follow the same steps for server 2, server 3, server 4. So let's go back to the document and follow the, all the steps uh, step by step. And then we have to change into the next server. Suppose uh, if we are going to install the, the same process into server 2. So what we have to, have to do, we have to uh, change the host as well as we have to change the IPv4 into 
to S uh, S zero three as well as in the next step we have to I mean in the next server we have to change into the same process and the rest thing like the password we have to set the username we have to set the rest all the things will be the same okay so uh, just be with me to the uh, next uh, uh, lesson please subscribe my channel for the for all the information for all the notification to get uh, regarding my all the next videos as well as please comment down if you are getting any issue till now and uh, don't forget to uh, share with others so thanks see you soon